I got to tell you, Lonnie, it is uh, shocking and heartbreaking. I know a lot of people have lost property in this. I know some people are going to be facing a very challenging week because of all the rain. And again, another big story, cancellation of that concert. Here's the reason why. This is just a stat from yesterday. Yesterday in New York City, late, obviously, a new record, 4.45. That's the wettest daily since 2014. But if you read the fine print, from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock last night, 1.94, almost two inches of rain in one hour in New York City is a new record. That's the wettest hour on record ever. Now, while records are fascinating and it was stressful last night in and around the city, let's head west. Let's head all around the area. Look at that, Cranberry, 8.28 inches of rain. Where's it going to go? Plainsboro, seven and a half. Long Beach Township, six and a half. Clifton, you get into those hills around Clifton, 5.23. Farmingdale, 4.93. Now, Diker Heights. Wow, this Brooklyn was really battered last night. 6.38 there. Uh, again, Central Park, almost five. Midtown, where we are, closer to five, 4.81. Fascinating irony, Great Neck 2.79 and through the Hamptons 1.73. Now, those are the numbers right now. If we use the computer guidance and the computer modeling, the European forecast model is adding additional rain. Look at the screen you see on the top. This is additional rain. So you look at some of these areas where we could see additional rain of two, three, four, five inches. Then you've got those double digit totals. The NAM is being pretty aggressive with the city. So you add that in the city, then you throw in the Bronx where we could see a greater risk of that wraparound flooding that Lonnie was just talking about. We have to be mindful of that. Now, just a blanket flash flood watch for everybody. We have these isolated warnings. A flash flood watch means the possibility of rapidly rising water is possible. Well, it's already happened. Uh, our colleague Chris Gay was out in uh, Helmeta, and I know uh, uh, we're going to, Christine is going to share more of his side of the story, but this is just driving around. You see scenes like this, a barricade up, don't mess around, steer clear of it, and if you don't know how deep that water is, don't go in that water because it's a serious situation. And Lonnie, we've been talking about this, the safety. Chris Gay drives a vehicle about that size. The ground clearance on this is about 10 inches. A normal car, it's about four and a half inches. That's why these cars literally can get washed away. That is not hyperbole. That's happening. Just stay hunkered down. We're going to see more rain. Lonnie's going to have later this hour some of the future cast modeling, and we'll go through that. But yeah, you're right, Lonnie. It's definitely so far about the water. Back to you.